Hey survivors and thrivers. In this video I'm going to be talking about narcissistic triangulation. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you'd like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. If you are interested in one-on-one -on -one coaching, you can email me at narcissivivercoaching at gmail.com. Narcissistic Triangulation Triangulation is the act of bringing another person into the dynamic of a relationship or interaction. This can happen during the relationship or following the discard. This is designed to make you feel as though you are worthless or beneath the narcissist's consideration. It is designed to make you compete for the narcissist's attention. Narcissists will create a real or imagined relationship triangle to create the idea that they have more value. They want to make you believe that they are in high demand. It will affect you emotionally and cause you and the other person to compete for their attention and become jealous or envious because of them. This is exactly what the narcissist wants and they know the effect that this, that this is having on you. They know that you put in all, all of your time and effort to make them happy. And they know the effect that it will have on you when they pretend like it's nothing and they can just move on and have a good time with, with someone else. They want to make you feel insecure or as though you are not good enough for them. As though you can't do anything right even though you are probably more than good enough and they know that. But if they can get you to believe it, it gives them supply. They will try to get you to believe that this new person is doing everything for them. Things that you would never do or were not capable of doing. It creates this false competition where you feel like you're not enough and you need to be doing better. When in reality, this new person isn't doing anything. But if they can get you to believe it, they know that it will affect you. They know that you will continue on this narrative that they have fed to you, believing that it's the truth. Then you might discover months or even years down the line that none of this even happened. It was just used at the time by the narcissist to emotionally affect you. They live in this fantasy world where they will pick and choose whatever they believe can give them the upper hand or make them look good, even if it's not the case in reality. They will usually post pictures on social media as they will be expecting you to be watching. They know that you're still trying to figure out what's going on or what happened to them. Why did they change so suddenly? As long as they think you're watching, they will continue to post pictures of them with this new person. It's usually someone they found very recently as a desperate choice to hurt you. But they will make it look like they're having a good, a good time. They know how to orchestrate the elements of a situation to produce the desired effect or desired reaction from you. It's going to look like the narcissist is completely in love with this person, worshipping them. But if you remember the beginning of your relationship with a narcissist, they saw you in the exact same way. They idealise you in the beginning, they love bomb you, but that soon turns into, de into devaluation and then the discard, it's the same thing every time. This new person is just another object, used to carry out a task or function, or provide a service. Most often the narcissist is just 
looking for some attention and admiration or they are just using them to hurt you and make you jealous. They act as though you are worthless or beneath their consideration. But they clearly care a lot about your opinion if they are taking the time to post these pictures. Everything they post on social media is intended for you. It is designed to affect you. Narcissists prefer to communicate indirectly. They can't get around your logic or reasoning by communicating with you directly. They have to bring in all of these fantasy scenarios and illusions and have the ability to create their own show through pictures or videos to affect you emotionally. Direct communication doesn't give the same effect because your logical reasoning steps in and tells you that this person is full of shit. Triangulation is one of their favorite tactics because it makes you react emotionally rather than with logical reasoning. They desire attention and admiration. And they are able to control, dominate and manipulate you and this third person. It boosts their self-worth and self-esteem, makes them feel as though they are something of value or significance. Because of this, they will do whatever they can to prolong and protect the situation for as long as possible. Once the narcissist has experienced the feeling of being greatly desired or envied, they will try to create the same situation again and again as a way of prolonging and protecting the situation, they will prevent any communication between you and the third person. Instead of talking to you about their problems, they will be talking about you to the third person. They will paint a negative picture of you to this, to this third person. Most often they like to call the victim crazy or they will act as though you are harassing them. They are only thinking about themselves. They are self-absorbed. So they will use this to gain sympathy. If you remember at the beginning of the relationship, the narcissist probably used this tactic to, to gain sympathy from you. They probably talked about a previous relationship or their parents or friends. Remember this for the future. When a person is triangulating you with someone at the beginning of the relationship, this often suggests what it will be like at the end of your relationship with them. Soon they will be talking about you in that way. Narcissists like to play the victim so they can obtain sympathy from people. This is something they have learned from their childhood. Maybe they would argue with their parent or do something they didn't like and then they went to the other parent to obtain sympathy. Then when they did something to make that parent angry, they went back to their other parent to obtain sympathy. This is where they learn to go back and forth, obtain sympathy without facing any consequences. You will notice that they repeat the same behaviours even as adults. If they do something to hurt or anger you, rather than open, owning up to what they have done or taking responsibility, they will play the victim and triangulate you with someone else. This gives them the ability to obtain sympathy without facing any consequences. It also causes you to compete for their attention and become jealous or envious 
because they have just triangulated you with someone else. Really, they should be trying to earn your attention after what they have done to hurt or anger you. But narcissists don't want to take responsibility for what they have done. They are shame-based individuals doing everything they can to avoid reflecting on their shame. And because they are so childish and immature, they don't want to acknowledge what they have done wrong. They don't want you to confront them. They don't want to deal with serious issues. It's hard work for them. It hurts their brains and makes them feel like they are not good enough. They don't want to deal with that. It's much easier for them to live in their fantasy world and act as though they're perfect and something is wrong with you. Then they can find someone else who doesn't know what they're really about and use them to obtain sympathy as well as attention and admiration. Another reason why they will triangulate is because they know they can't win by dealing with you directly. They want to bring in a third person to share the task of defeating you because they don't believe they are strong enough to do it on their own. This third person could be someone you don't know or it could be a family member or friend. In this case of it being a family member or friend it will be an attempt to gain control over your relationship with this person. They might tell them lies or paint a negative picture of you to make this person see you in a different way. When the narcissist is triangulating you with people you already know, this can be designed to isolate you or to make you feel as though you have no one on your side. It makes them feel powerful and in control and if you are dealing with a really bitter jealous person, the triangulation could turn into a smear campaign. F for more information on smear campaigns, check out my playlist of videos on the fly monkeys and the smear campaign. If the third person who is a family member or friend takes the narcissist's side without talking to you or hearing your side of the story, this third person is likely to be narcissistic. They are easily persuaded and jump to conclusions. They lack empathy so they are not going to take the time to understand your side of the story. Narcissists seem to bond together with other like-minded people who always assume the worst about people without ever hearing your side of the story. Sometimes you will be triangulated with a person who doesn't give any response. These types of people are enablers. They enable the abuse to take place. They don't care about what is said or done. They are not going to defend anyone. If, any, if anyone gets hurt, they see it as though it's not their problem. Enablers do not have the strength of character to solve a problem or to even figure out what went wrong. Triangulation is one of the narcissist's favorite tactics. It is designed to make you feel as though you are worthless or beneath the narcissist's consideration. It is designed to make you think that they are in high demand and you have to compete for their attention. It is designed to emotionally affect you and make you jealous or envious. During this time, it is natural to experience cognitive dissonance where you have two conflicting beliefs. You may believe that what you are seeing is true, but then you will also believe that this is not the person you met. The person you met would never do something like that. This is because of the perception management they did on you at the beginning of the relationship. They made you believe they were one thing when they were something completely different. They tricked your senses which caused you to enter this alternate reality where they just tell you what you want to hear 
or show you what you want to see then when you finally see their true character and personality you are removed from that reality but you don't want to believe it you don't want to believe that this is who they really are you want to go back to the fantasy the problem is the fantasy never existed the person you met at the beginning of the relationship never existed they just told you what you wanted to hear or showed you what you wanted to see and as long as you entertain the conflicting belief that this person maybe could come back you are giving them the ability to control you and affect you emotionally that person never existed it was a false image and an orchestration they do have the ability to bring it back and return to the love bombing phase but this is only if they need something from you narcissists are self-absorbed and lack empathy they only care about themselves they only care about their own needs so if they believe that you have something to offer them of course they are going to come back and give you more of the fantasy but it's not real it never was and just as you saw before the abuse and manipulation will return they make you believe that they have something valuable or significant to give to you but the reality is they are only looking to use you thank you for watching i hope this video resonated with you please like comment share and subscribe click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos if you would like to donate my paypal links in the video description coaching inquiries you can email me at arxfivercoaching at gmail.com we have a private reddit community where survivors and thrivers can share their experiences and knowledge if you are interested in being a part of this community you can sign up for our patreon page the link is in the video description check out the narcs forever merchandise store where you can purchase your own narcs forever t-shirt or mug we have a variety of designs and it is a great way to support the channel the link to our narcs forever merchandise store is in the video description thank you for watching and i will talk to you soon